What is up, everybody, and welcome back. Today we are once again doing the Wordle Gauntlet. If you didn't watch yesterday's inaugural opening first video of the series, essentially we are just doing a gauntlet of Wordle and Wordle clones, including Wordle, which is the classic word game, Hurdle, a game where we have to guess a song, Framed, which is a movie guessing game, uh, Podal, which is the NBA, which I want to do last because I'm terrible at. We're going to move that here. Uh, Weddle, which is the NFL, and Wardle, which is the MLB. Um, I'm not particularly good at Podal, like I said. Um, Wordle, I'm pretty good. And I should be at least competent in Weddle, Wardle. The hurdle and Framed, I think I should get every time. I don't think that should be a problem. Um, but right now, um, I think the thought process is, yo... Um, Pettis, did you see yesterday's video? That's on YouTube. Um, I didn't do very good, well at Podal, but uh, we're going to try to knock this one out. Um, I, I want to try to do this gauntlet thing as like fast as possible at some point. I think right now we're just going to probably do like talk about my methodology or like how I am going to like approach this. So Wordle, I always use the same two words first. Uh, thought being that you can eliminate every single vowel um so right now we have ch ha okay uh ch -ch -ch. so we know that it's got to be like a t uh s h uh could be uh do 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 i think it's s h a and we don't have any vowels, so what shawl? We did it. Okay, that was easy. Moving on. Hurdle. That was rough. My first guess is 70s or 80s classic rock. Based upon the drum beat. I'm going to put jailbreak. Where do I put this? Oh, down here. Uh, they don't have Thin Lizzy, bro? Hmm. Well, it's not going to be that. Um, this kind of sounds a little bit groovy. Wow. I do not know this song, I don't think. We're doing it, though. Nothing. This is tough. <clears throat> I'm getting like cheesy 80s. Like something Wham would do or something. It's not waking, it's not any of those songs. I don't know. <clears throat> it looks like we're going to fumble the bag on this one. So the music is a throwback sample to 70s kind of music, but it is a modern tune that I do not know. Silk Sonic, okay. That probably should have been a good guess, Bruno Mars. Um, I don't know if you can see this picture. Let's zoom this in. This is a pretty horrible picture. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to see here. I see a person walking through a field. 
Silk Sonic, huh? I don't listen to a lot of Bruno Mars. And uh, is that... Uh, it's not Earl, is it? No, no, no. The drummer dude. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going to put It Follows, even though I think it's wrong. Man, they do be trying to give us the lowest quality photos ever. I see like a like a TP like or something being made in somebody that looks rather naked. Um, this is going to be wrong, I think. Oh, this is probably going to be... Shit, what is that movie called? I think this is Anya Taylor-Joy over here. Um... It's the one where the goat talks to them. The witch. Just for everybody's knowledge, I have never seen this movie in my life. I just see Anya Taylor-Joy's face. Big fan. Uh, Shout-outs to South America. Um, I just see the colonial clothing in her face, and then I got the witch. Um, last Yesterday was Life of Pi. <clears throat> which I had seen one time uh, many years ago. Uh, shout out to Ang Lee. Weddle. Okay. Um, I think it's best here to start with someone who is kind of middle-aged. <clears throat> How about Bobby Wagner? Let's start with Bobby Wagner. Um, unless it doesn't have Bobby Wagner in here. Uh, this seems like this game, Weddle, is not fully realized yet. Although they have Albert Ukwubunam. Who I'm not... <coughs> familiar with let's do chase Edmonds. okay so it's going to be end of c east um saquon wait it's not a running back let's not get too carried away here <coughs> um he's pretty tall in the nfc east kenny galladay he's taller than six foot four okay i misread that i guess it means he's in the afc just not in the afc east but he is really fucking tall in the AFC. Um, Chase Edmonds is with Miami now. That's a revelation. Really tall in the AFC. <clears throat> we had Mike Williams yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> wonder if it's like a quarterback. It's really tall. And his age is below 25. With a number above 2 and below 19. AFC. AFC South. <clears throat> okay, tall AFC South. 23. Um... You would guess that it's probably like a quarterback, right? So who do we have? There's no way Tua is taller than 6'4", right? And that would be AFC South anyway. So Trevor Lawrence? Trevor Lawrence. Excellent. Good. We could try hard mode. I don't know how to turn on hard mode. That was actually probably a pretty easy one. But whatever. We're going to Wardle. I don't, I don't want to share. <clears throat> enter an MLB player's name. So once again, we kind of want to go in the middle here. <clears throat> but what uh, like division do we want to start in? Hmm. So we definitely dropped the bag on the on the song, which Silk Sonic I probably could have given a good guess based upon the instrumentation. Definitely funky. Anyway, can't go back there. Got to go forward. Um, let's do... Travis Darno. Let's do that. Okay, so he's left-handed. He's a left-handed bat in the American League from the United States. Hmm. Left-handed bat in the American League. Austin Meadows. Oh, he's actually a switch hitter. In the American League, and he's a 26 or 28. 
Uh, he's not left. He's not a left fielder. So a switch hitter in the American League. Um, Jose Ramirez fits that bill. Um, okay, so AL Central is a switch hitter from America, 28 years old at third base. So let's see who we have in the AL Central um, American. I think Bregman is just straight right-handed. Um, is Gio Urshla can't be from the United States. That's the Twins, right? <clears throat> Who do we have in this division? I think it's the Twins, Detroit, Cleveland. What about Yon Mancana is definitely switch hitter from Cuba. Okay. All this kind of lined up. Who else we got? <clears throat> So he's the starting third baseman for the White Sox. We got the starting. So uh, who's at Detroit? Is it Yimer Condelario? He's not from America, though. Oh, <clears throat> it's Yimer Condelario. Bango. We got that one, too. Not too shabby. That one I feel like is not easy either. So pat myself on the back. Uh, and now we got Potal. Uh, which I will more than likely fail at. I would like to get all of these one day, so... <clears throat> and all as quickly as possible. Um, we want to get someone, once again, like, middle-aged here. Let's, let's start with Giannis, right? Okay, so he's a uh, forward that's shorter than 6'11 in the Western Conference. Um, Anthony Davis. He might be, uh, he's probably, I put Anthony. He's probably also uh, um, considered a forward center. Okay, so Memphis West, he's in Memphis, and he's a forward. Bridges. Uh, I think I meant Miles Bridges, huh? I just don't know what I'm talking about, I guess. Miles Bridges was with Memphis. Dude, he is young as shit. He's going to be like 21. Ooh, this is tough. Uh, uh, tch -tch -tch. I was just playing Memphis in my my career in 2K, playing against him. Who do we got other than Jaron? I think we have like Tyus Jones, but I'm pretty sure he's a guard. By his silhouette, which is, I guess, cheating. Um, I'm seeing that it's probably it's probably a younger dude who is not like a European player. He looks like he is probably black, um, just by the hairstyle that I'm seeing here. Um, forward at like somewhere between six eight and six ten. He's super young, like twenty. with Memphis. We have Ja, we have Desmond Bain. Who's their starting, oh, uh, Dylan Brooks? Uh, that's tough. Mm. I will give Podal credit, they do, they do some deep dives into rosters. <clears throat> Who is their f power forward? Because you have Jaron. Actually, Jaron's got to be their forward, right? Because they have Steven Adams. So this is going to be like a backup forward. Probably a decently like touted prospect, I would guess. Hmm. I think that getting Memphis early was actually kind of bad for me because uh, I got to guess people from this team and I don't know shit. See, like I'm going to put like Steven Adams, right? He's with Memphis. Not the right guy. Uh, 
Like, look, I can remember all these idiots, but where the hell is the... I mean, this is one, two, three, four people on their team. I know it's not Ja. I basically know their entire starting lineup. Um... Like 20 years old, huh? 2021? I'm not sure. I'm going to just put OG Owen, o o Onanobi as my last guess, even though I know it's wrong. Zaire Williams. Not entirely sure. I know that person. But um, we had some good guesses in here in terms of we knew pretty much the entire starting lineup. We just aren't an NBA fan like that. But um, so I think we have six. Six categories. We did four out of six, which is kind of disappointing. I'd like to get five every day. This one is the one that's always going to be the question mark. So um, if they have deeper bench players, I'm probably just going to miss it just about every time. But um, let me know if there's like um, any sort of like quizzes online, sporkle things, things that you think you can stump me with or things that I might find interesting. And you can put that either in a DM on Twitch here on Twitch um, or on YouTube. I think that my Twitter handle is probably somewhere I almost never use that other than to like get news um so but if you like this kind of thing and it seemed like people did um we got quite a, a decent amount of views for this channel um in a day yesterday so i'm going to keep on doing this um it's pretty much uh something i like to do and relatively easy content we're going to work our way to become better and better at this so um but it is a kind of shotgun spread of information so anyway um if that is going to wrap it we'll see uh, everyone again tomorrow with the next gauntlet challenge Peace. See you next time.